to the seven year old girl who had to watch me and my brothers jump her daddy after school. I'm sorry. We even had a meeting with you and your parents and you wouldn't listen. And why I got my brothers to jump him in front of his seven year old daughter. And the answer is something. You get what she was doing. Sometimes kids learn from what they see and not what they. What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Black Sheep Gritting. How y'all doing out there? I'm back with another video. You already know what it is. Let's get into it, man. Um, gonna get this title out the way, most definitely. I wanted a visual experience. Father says he had to jump a seven-year-old girl's father after warning her multiple times to stop bullying his daughter. Hey, man. Uh, just want to see what the brother's take is on this, man. You know what I mean? Um, it sounds interesting. I don't think he was on a bull stuff. He just don't seem like it, but you know what I mean? Just want to see what it's about. Before we jump into this video, man, you already know, man, everybody better be on a grit. And I mean better, literally, that's rocking with me. I can't, I ain't speaking for the whole world, you know what I mean? It's a bunch of people out here that's stale and stagnant, a bunch of people out here that's lost. Not talking about those people in a negative way, man, but hey, man, I'm just trying to influence the best I can. I'm a brother that came from all kind of levels of struggle, you know what I mean? So, hey man, every day you wake up is another day for you to try it again. Get back on that motherfucking grind. So, you know what I mean? I really mean that. If you don't, if you don't, if it don't mean nothing to you, hey, so be it. But yeah, man. And also, my people, my supporters, man, hit that like button. Grind it, man. Grind that mug, man. Grind that subscribe, man. Come on, join the team. I appreciate it. I appreciate my loyal followers. Real talk, all my new subscribers, you already know, much love, man, real talk, I appreciate it. And make sure y'all sharing my content, man. May not mean nothing to some people, may, other people may like it, but share it, I don't care. <laughs> real talk. But yeah, let's go on and jump into this, my good people. To the seven-year-old girl who had to watch me and my brothers jump her daddy. To the seven-year-old girl who had to watch me and my brothers jump her daddy after school, I'm sorry. I know that was probably a traumatizing experience for you. <laughs> but we kept asking you to stop bullying my daughter and you wouldn't listen. We hey, man, hold up, bro. I'm my bad, people. Hey, bro, I ain't laughing at the situation, bro. It's just out, bro. He said it's so cool, calm, and collective. Like, baby, I'm sorry, but, you know, your daddy had it coming. And you low-key had it coming because I told you to leave my baby alone. <laughs> Shit, this dude. Me and my brothers jumped her daddy after school. To the seven-year-old girl who had to watch me and my brothers jump her daddy after school, I'm sorry. I know that was probably a traumatizing experience for you. But we kept asking you to stop bullying my daughter and you wouldn't listen. We sent letters home. We even had a meeting with you and your parents and you wouldn't mm -hmm. listen. So now you know your actions have consequences. And since Back. you're too young to receive those consequences, you had to watch your daddy take those consequences. Get some therapy. You'll be all right. A lot of y'all keep asking why I didn't fight this man one-on-one. -on -one. And why I got my brothers to jump in. Hey, before we move any farther, um, a, a lot of people may not agree with him doing this, and a lot of people may. I, I agree with some of it so far, you know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. When he said, uh, now you know you your, your actions has consequences, man, that's the truth, man. And that's a good thing that young people and children need to learn. Like, you know, you, 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 you got to be careful what you're doing because sometimes, a lot of times, actually, your actions affect those around you or what you put out in the universe can come back and affect and attack personally those around you. So, yeah, man, she, she low key brought that on her daddy. You know what I mean? Poor baby. <laughs> in front of his seven year old brother and asked him in front of his seven year old brother 101 and why I got my brothers to jump him in front of his seven year old brother. And the answer is simple. Life is not fair. You get jumped by responsibilities every day. Bullying is not fair because you're picking on somebody that's essentially a weaker vessel and that's smaller than you. So I wanted to make sure she saw what it looked like when a fight is not fair and you don't have no choice but to let somebody jump you. So she could get the concept of what she was doing. Sometimes kids learn from what they see and not what they hear. So I wanted it to be a visual experience, okay? I'm out here doing the Lord's work, okay? Hey, guys, also, I ain't condone no violence, man. Just, hey, if that's that brother's method of getting it done, cool. It don't seem like from him nobody got hurt real bad or nobody, you know what I'm saying, got, uh, you know, 
deleted and nothing like that, man. But uh, I will say, like, hopefully he don't, he don't get no charges pressed on him. You know what I'm saying? Him and his bros or whoever he brought. You know, I kind of see his point. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I can tell he want to say some other shit, too. He just want to be raw for real. You know what I mean? Like, hey, we don't care. It is what it is. So, oh, damn. All right, man. That's the end of that one right there. Yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about that video. Most definitely, man. I appreciate y'all once again vibing with me and rocking with me all the time. I really do, man. And I see my channel going up, man. I appreciate the love and support. Real talk. But, um, yeah, man. Uh, let me know, too, man. If y'all would have handled this situation like this, do y'all think he handled it well? Or could he handle it different? Or if he went too far? Y'all let me know. Now, the only thing I want to, I would, I do want to say is, you know, if do if the if if the the the, the other father that got his ass whooped, you know what I mean, whatever. If he did try to talk to his daughter, you know what I mean, like it's different. Like I don't know if dude tried to talk to his daughter, and this is just his daughter still doing it on his on on her own. You know what I mean? That's something different, man. It's like, damn, man, you just, you know, too often to do ass, multiple dudes, and maybe he tried, you know what I mean? But children do also mimic a lot of what is going on around them. So maybe she's picking the bullying up from home. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know, you know, feel free to, uh, how y'all would have handled it, you know what I mean? And if y'all think he handled it right or wrong. You know, me personally, I, I I don't see too much wrong with it. Um, I mean, like he said, it, it, it took the, he took the steps to writing letters, the school, everything, man. Sometimes it's, it do get bad. And, and it's been moments and situations like this where somebody actually, you know, lost their life. So, yeah, man, y'all do your best to raise your children up for the people out there that got children that's going to school. You know, if you know your child's indulging in any kind of bullying, Hey, man, pull your child to the side. If you was a bully, you know better, man. Hey, man, teach your child not to do none of that, man. Real talk, man. Because uh, it only end up bad. But for sure, you already know, man, my good people, man. Stay on y'all grind, man. And stay loving on yourselves always, man. You ain't going to have people telling you that all the time. So And don't wait for people to tell you that. Sometimes you got to know uh how to love on yourself. And you got to know what, you know, that you deserve it, too, if you actually doing what's best and, and really out here trying to be a, a decent person out here, man. So love on yourself, man, most definitely. And don't forget to do that. I appreciate it, man. Till next time, y'all already know. Stay on y'all grit. Let's get it. Cause nigga, I like money and nice shit. My swag is priceless. My bag is righteous. You mad? I got the